Okay, so there's enough stuff on this board that I need to do a second news of the day. Um, and I would expect a lot of stuff to be coming out over the next few days. This is this is when it becomes real. So if you haven't been paying attention to hockey, good news. It's pouring rain here, which means we're headed into fall. And ta-da, there's some news. Detroit will not have a captain this year. That's not really a huge surprise. I think they're obviously setting it up so Larkin will become the captain. Uh, it's just a matter of making sure that he's ready for it when he gets it. Uh, so I don't have any issues with that. Detroit will have just alternates, which include Larkin. And like I said, he's likely going to be their, their guy soon enough. He'll be the captain, the face of the franchise, all that other wonderful stuff. Um, the Edmonton Oilers have revealed their third surprise, surprise. It's the blue one with the orange stripes. I, I it's it, it continues this sort of pattern I've been seeing with some stadium jerseys and some occasional thirds. It, it's reminiscent of the color rush jerseys the NFL has been pushing out there. And I guess those color rush jerseys are popular enough that the NHL is like, all right, we got to get some of this cash. Uh, it's not bad. I don't know. Um, I, again... Uh, the Oilers, when they, they do up their jerseys, I always look at their thirds and think, well, if they did this instead. But anyways, I digress. I'm sure they'll be big sellers. And if they win wearing them, they're supposed to wear them on Friday night home games. There's nine of those this year. If they win wearing them, we'll see them more than just on Friday nights. That's my guess anyways. Uh, Sportsnet's reporting on, and, and when I see it on Sportsnet, I go, you know what? There's probably something to it. Uh, there are at least three teams, a minimum of three teams, looking at an offer sheet for Connor. Um, line A, they're not really interested in an offer sheet on Line A. It's Connor that's getting all the interest. And I've said the whole way through, Kyle Connor, to me, is a more complete player. And there was a poll that I voted in uh, just to see what the vote results were. And when asked, fans, 63% said that they would be more likely to want Connor if they were a competing general manager then Line A. And I know there's a lot of people who love Line A and think he's going to bounce back and have a 50-goal season potentially, but there's that risk too. So if Connor gets an offer sheet, things could really start to transpire quickly. Uh, that would put more pressure on Toronto if offer sheets start falling somewhere else. Um, and, and this is a pressure point at the start of training camp. Teams are looking and going, well, we're, we're in pretty good shape. We can do this. We can make this offer and uh, try to pry that player away from the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, nothing's imminent with Braden Point, so if we're looking for where things are imminent. Interestingly enough, they were just talking to Eddie Olchick on Sportsnet, and he named off some guys he doesn't think could end up playing for Winnipeg. He thinks one or the other from Winnipeg uh, may not be uh, playing. And for players from other teams, uh, Besser, he doesn't know, but he's pretty sure he thinks with all the public talk about Marner, he's pretty sure Marner's going to be in the Leafs lineup. On opening night. So I thought that was kind of nice to see Eddie Olchek, a voice from outside of the, the fishbowl that we're in here, just saying, yeah, I know that should happen. So hopefully it does and we get that dealt with. Uh, tryouts. Griba's got a tryout with Calgary Flames as Calgary continues to pick up physical players. We can debate how clean some of these players are, but they're picking up some physical guys. Uh, Zbiza has got a tryout with the Islanders and in Islanders news as well, in purple underneath that. There's lawsuits that are starting to be filed to start stop the construction of the Belmont Arena. And the feeling is these lawsuits are pretty pretty frivolous. But nevertheless, there's these lawsuits that are out there. And we'll see if they cause any kind of a delay with the construction or what judges do. Or if judges just throw the whole thing out. They just say, you know what, forget it. You guys are crazy. This is crazy. And for Islander fans, of course... Uh, they won't be happy to hear that at all because the building is necessary. In order to keep the New York Islanders as the New York Islanders, they need this building. Uh, Versteeg has got a, a tryout that was just announced by the Blackhawks. So they're trying to get the gang back together from previous Stanley Cup wins. And Matt Molson has a tryout with the Washington Capitals. It's kind of odd, isn't it? Although... I will say Matt Molson has proven in the past that if he's partnered up with the right superstar, things can happen. But again, it's just a tryout. These guys are getting these professional tryouts, may not end up getting a job. Um, and with these four, I'll say Versteeg has an outside chance of getting a contract. The other three, 
I think the odds are below 50%, but you guys can let me know in the comment section below which one you think may end up getting a job. Uh, Shea Theodore has revealed that he battled testicular cancer during the summer, actually had surgery, and is fully recovered. So congratulations to him on a full recovery. And uh, it's not the first time we've heard this happening with a hockey player over the summer. Um, I'm, I'm glad that this is being caught and that it's being dealt with. So, uh, good news for Shea Theodore and, for, of course, for Vegas fans. He won't be out of the lineup at all. He's good to go. Uh, Kakanyemi has added 10 pounds of muscle. So, we'll see if that if that makes him a stronger player for Montreal, how that affects his speed. Does he get faster? And does this mean that he's going to be able to fight through some checks this year? And who knows, right? He is anxious to take that next step. And if Montreal's going to get into a playoff spot and surprise some people this year, um, a step forward by Kakanyemi where he becomes a 20-goal scorer, scores about 55, 60 points in that range, would go a long way to making that happen. Uh, Ristolainen's very happy to be in Buffalo Sabres camp. This is how that works. I want out of here. Training camp rolls around. I'm still here. I love it here. It's great here. I'm just kidding. There's a lot of this, though, that over the summer we would hear in various interviews and from various sources, usually Google translated sources, that this player wants out, this guy wants out, oh God, no. And then we get to training camp and I'm good. No, I'm good. Don't worry about it. Uh, Louis Erickson and Ristolainen, two guys who are just perfectly fine. They're happy. No problems. Uh, speaking of no problems, Marcus Patterson has signed a one year, $874,000 contract extension with the Pittsburgh Penguins. So this kicks that can down the road, and that's a steal, considering the way he played after he got to Pittsburgh last year. Very, very good contract. So uh, the Penguins have a, a very reasonably priced blue liner right there, which kind of offsets a couple of their blue liners that I think we can agree probably get a little bit higher money in, in cap hit than they probably should at this point in their careers. But uh, it's going to be a very interesting year for Pittsburgh. Uh, Kessel is out, Galchenyuk's in, and we'll see what kind of difference that makes in the locker room. Um, you know, Melkin very appreciative of the way things are going with uh, with the changes. So we'll see how things turn out this, this fall. But uh, what I love about this time of year is the overall optimism. There's a ton of it, and uh, there you go. Uh, it's just some, some news of the day stuff again. Uh, again, let me know which tryout do you think is going to make it. Which player do you think on a tryout is going to be a real surprise, get a good, decent contract, and surprise people. Uh, let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. Just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching. For all your support, I will talk to you again soon.